Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Thought I would show you a little project I'm working on, actually on the road, yeah. Um, I decided that uh, since I've been cooking up front using the uh, butane cooking system, you can see I've got a mess up here because I'm not organized. So to help myself get a little bit organized, I am going to make myself a little table, a little work surface. So I can put the butane cooking system on it. I can also use it as a desk so that I can actually do computer work from my vehicle instead of um, having to always go into the library or someplace uh, or working off the seat. I'm going to basically use this piece of wood that I found. You can see it was somebody's scrap wood that I have um, rounded the edges. And what I did was I took my plate and just put it along the edge like that and took a pen and drew the lines. So I'll be using my Black & Decker saw here, my jigsaw, to cut those to curve it. And then I'll, I'll be smoothing it out with sandpaper here. But I'm going to be mounting it up here to the dash area right here. I don't know if you can see these L brackets that I've screwed in. You can see the L brackets have been screwed in. And that's um, going to serve like a ledge. And how it works is like this. Once I have the unit cut, I'll be able to place it on it like this. Basically, I can place the unit on there, and then the other end sits on the armrest. So I have a, essentially a little table, like almost like a little area like the cops do in their, in their police cars. So it's a little table that I can set things on, like I can eat on here, I can work on my laptop, I can um, put the butane cooking system on there. I'll probably be putting some Velcro on this side to make it stick and hold. That way it doesn't slide around. But the idea is to make the unit so I can easily remove it, stick it on the side here and have it out of the way. And it should take less than one minute to set it up, like 10 seconds to set it up. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now you can see that this jigsaw right here is an electric jigsaw. It's 115, 120 volts. And I'm running it up through my inverter right here. So, I've got the inverter turned on, the vehicle is on, the switch is on for the cooking system, which isn't just a cooking system, it's my 120 volt system. So let me go ahead and um, rig up the, the wood here so I can cut it. Alright, I just stuck the, the tip of the wood. You can see the wood isn't thick, it's a thin little piece right here. But I stuck it underneath there to hold it in place while I take the jigsaw and I'm just going to cut along the edge. I won't be able to film and cut, but I'll just go ahead and, and take my jigsaw and cut it and show you the results. Essentially, I'll just be running the jigsaw right here and just cutting around the curb. And I'll do that for each of these sides. Then I'll flip the wood around and do the other sides. Here you can see I cut off one side here. Yeah, I went on there, just cut that off. And we'll be sanding it smooth. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I wanted a rounded edge so that you don't hit the corner and poke yourself <laughs> when you have the table set up. So we're going to do the same with the other corners. All right, we've, si uh, we've finished cutting our second piece. Smooth that out a little bit. Had some dust coming up in here, but I'll blow it all out. The idea is to not make a mess or leave a mess so people would be angry. <laughs> So I'll be throwing those away, but or maybe using them for something else. But anyhow, we're going to flip it around and get the other pieces, and we should be about done. All right, we've cut a third piece. So just one more piece left to go, and we are pretty much done. Just need to um, sand it down. That's one of the cool things about having an inverter and um, having it hooked up like this with a house system. I can actually work if I need to using 120-volt appliances. Uh, ranging from a saw to a um, rice cooker or whatever. And voila, just like that, through the magic of <laughs> not filming, <laughs> you guys get a fast forward and see that we are done. The table is essentially done. I just need to sand down the edges to make it a little bit smoother so you don't get poked or get splinters. And um, it was essentially a free little tabletop that I found. Alright, here then is my uh, tabletop little desk work section. It is about a foot and a half. 
square so you can see I I have the little edges here that I had to set this on and it kind of lined up right directly underneath my radio so that's perfect and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, velcro here I might need to get swap these two or put a bigger one over here a slightly longer ledge maybe I don't know I don't think it even matters which way I do this I can go like this I think I might do it like that and have a lot more room and basically so this can just go everything still works I still have um, debating how I want to do that it'll be slightly diagonal it doesn't have to be perfectly straight but we're gonna um, put velcro down here a piece of velcro on the the hand bar restingy and one on the the table but this gives us a nice flat surface which I can then use to um, work on my laptop or cook. So let's try it out. All right, pardon the mess here, but to line up where I want these things to line up, I basically am sticking it, you know, the two pieces I put the, the fuzzy side down first, which I've been putting fuzzy sides all over my vehicle. Then I put the, the burly side, the sticky side. I'm just flipping it upside down on here to hold it into place. And then I'll be setting the table on it. That way it lines up exactly how I want it laid out. So here then is my uh, second piece and the first piece right there. And I do want the table. I'm going to go ahead and designate this blue side here as being towards me. So I'm going to lay this out exactly how I want it. Then when I plop it down, it'll um, lock into place. So I kind of want it diagonal but kind of tight. So it's going to go like this. There we go. So this is kind of tight. And I'm kind of pressing down. Now the table doesn't slide and won't move. So the idea is just to have it stick and kind of, I might have to move that up a little bit. Yeah, this side's going to have to be moved up because it's um, not sticking right there. So it's not like the most level setup, <laughs> but it'll work. All right, after messing with it, I've realized the Velcro idea to stick it there isn't going to work. It keeps sliding off and it's going to be a mess. So it's just going to sit here like this and um, just try not to hit it. <laughs> I can figure out a better way to attach this, but I think this will do. We're going to go ahead and set everything on it and show you how it's supposed to work. Here you can see the system set up as an office. You can see I have a nice little area where I can work the um, computer. And I like using a full-size keyboard, so there's room for a full-size keyboard. It's sitting right on the armrest, so it's a perfect position for typing. And you might be wondering how I do the mouse. Well, underneath the, the see underneath the whole unit is my mouse pad sitting on the cooler. And I can um, take my hand under there and just use it. It's ergonomic, you know, it's where your arm goes under the armrest, so it's underneath there and you use the mouse and control it on the screen. I don't have everything hooked up and turned on right now. Um, but that's how I would use it as a little office. So now my laptop's battery is dead. So I actually have to run off power. I have to run off 120 volts, 115 volts. But I actually can run this power from the laptop on through to the back to my house battery system with the inverter and have it working that way. So this would allow me to park somewhere and sit from my office, <laughs> which is actually uh, the vehicle itself, and I can work, you know, I could just sit in here and work um, and have a nice surface to work. No more awkward bending and or setting the laptop on the um, dashboard. I had thought about making a little table here, but I thought that would be a little too cramped, you know, to set it up on this close. And This gives me a larger surface area to work on. I think I may get a bigger piece of um, L bracket and stick it out on that one to make sure it does sit on it doesn't fall down but and I have a little work surface um, and it's nice and comfortable because you know the front seat I think is actually the best most comfortable seats in the whole vehicle so and there's room there so I can have a passenger still so if I have a passenger and we decide to eat we can actually put the table up and we have a little table where we can eat off now let me go ahead and show you the cooking system set up on here just to show you how it would look when I install the um, the butane system. Okay, here then is what the system looks like with the butane stove on it. You can see that there's um, room here for the pot or pan 
and we can set the um, the case there, not so much to block wind, but to block splatter. So splatter doesn't get all over the car. <laughs> of course, you'll probably want to cook with the lid on it. And, and, and if you're not splattering anything, you don't need to have that there. But um, you can, uh, you know, turn this on, off and stuff. And just got to be a little careful because you are dealing with an open flame in a very confined space. Don't spill any oil on yourself and set yourself on fire. But um, that's pretty much it. So you can see this is... Let me get out of the vehicle so you can actually get a better look at it. But this is my little surface work area right there. Sorry about the mess in the vehicle. I am going to be cleaning it up. Um, it's been raining and hard to get out and clean things. But I might try it now that the rain has stopped. I'm going to try to get the vehicle straightened out and maybe do a, an updated tour to show the new systems. But I might go ahead and wait until I actually finish off this thing. I don't know if I'm going to sand it down. Maybe it doesn't need to be sanded down. But sanding it down might help to, to keep splinters from poking somebody. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it useful, the information uh, useful. Just do uh, be very careful if you're cooking in your vehicle, in a little car or van up front like this, because it is very dangerous. But, you know... What are you going to do? You either do it or you don't. And, you know, if you're in a situation where you're living out of your vehicle and you don't always have the ability to cook outside, you know, this is a chance you may take. Um, I'm not saying you should. I, you know, I take it because it's just part of me cooking here. And on days where it's rainy and stuff, you can't even cook outside. I don't know what that was, a big horn. So anyhow, um... Stay safe. Be careful if you do decide to do this. Just understand it is very dangerous. But it does give you the ability to have a little surface here. Um, you know, you can use that as a table here, too. Let me take... just wanted to quickly take everything off and just show you that you do have a little table here. And you can, of course, you know, serve two people on it. So you can both eat. Put your stuff there. Put cups or soda or whatever up there. Um... You have the ability for two people to sit and eat inside a minivan, you know, in relative comfort. <laughs> it's like a little tiny table here. Um, and see, you can see there's plenty of room to sit here. It's not like the table's right up on me. Slide this over a little bit if you need to. But just try not to hit it while you got food on it. And especially while you got the, the grill on it, you know, the, the stove cooking. Well, until next time, everyone, I hope you are staying safe, staying dry, staying warm. And I um, just want to let each and every one of you know that I am thinking of you and um, praying for you. Take care, everybody. All right, after analyzing the situation, realizing that sticking um, Velcro here will not work because it kind of slides off this handle. Okay, and it looks nasty. I thought of um, drilling holes here and running zip ties or something to help, help tie this in place, but then decided that would be kind of a pain, you know, and it might slip off anyways. So then I realized that um, because the bottom of this is actually the, the L brackets, we could simply uh, drill holes up where the, the bracket is and stick a nail in there, screw or nail, but I decided the, the nail is better because it's smooth and can easily go in once you line it up, you know. And you can lock it into place. And that'll keep it... See, it's not going anywhere. It moves around a little bit, but it's not going to fall off. This way you don't have to worry about your table falling off. Which is a danger if you're trying to cook on it. Because you don't need a table that's unstable and going to fall. This will not fall. Okay? It might move around, but it ain't going to fall. So, how I was able to line up the hole was I simply went up underneath the where the bracket is right there. I don't know if you can see it. But where the bracket is, you can see the nail hole right there. But I, I lined it up and I took a, a pen down there and I just drew little markings where the holes are. And then I drilled it. So I drilled it from underneath. And I did that, you know, for both sides. I lined it up where I wanted it. And then I just got some nails, which I already had. And um, you just put the nails in. You don't want to put it in all the way down. Just leave a little bit up so you can easily pull it out. But this way, it locks into place when you want it in table mode. It could probably even drive like this, although I don't know if it's safe to have a uh, sharp edge like this by your gut. You know, if you get in an accident or something, it could end up cutting you. So, but I would take it out. 
So when you're driving and, and not using it, you just take these out, save your nails or you're not gonna lose it. Whole table comes apart. When you get ready to put it back in, you do one side first. You basically put this nail in right here like this and then um, line it up, you know, line it up to that hole, get it in there. It's hard to do single-handedly, but let me try to line it up here. I'm just gonna line up the hole. I don't know if you can see that I'm lining up the hole. Once you've lined up one side, it's not hard to do the other side. You just push it in, line it up. Make sure this is uh, lined up here and going in. Yeah, it's in. So once it's lined up, it locks into place. It takes less than a minute to set up. You got a nice table. And um, that should do it. And, you know, you don't need this down all the way. You can just have it up so you can easily take it out. Just need to maybe make a little area to hold the nails somewhere around here so you don't lose it. And if you lose it, just get some replacement nails. But I'll probably figure out some place to store it nearby or have it stored on the table top itself so that it can be used. I hope you found this video useful and it gave you some ideas for setting up a little working table if you're having to uh, work out of your car or live out of your car or van. This could be done in a car as well as a van. And in this case, I got a really nice little table out of it. Until next time, take care, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye now.